What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, Mug the Judy, and now we're back with some Hero Coliseum. Obviously, guys, shout out to your boy, Prince Kaza, for this one. Now, Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. This is a figure that I have, level 99, obviously. I have three dupes into him. There's no way to get him to 10 out of 10 unless you pull 10 UR Vegetas, which if you have, I'm bound for you because that that is insane. Now, he's a very weird figure. Hard-hitting figure. Very, 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 very hard-hitting figure, guys. Without a doubt. One of the hardest-hitting figures in the game when you put him in his posing skill without a one skills. Without a one skills, take it out. He's one of the hardest-hitting figures in the game. Sorry if my hands are dirty. Got back from work and hopped back on the cord. You guys know the dizzle. Now, number 212, Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. Level max 99. HP is 50-50. Attack is 7,640. Defense is 950. And his speed is 2,800. 2840 ultimate attack is final shine and then final shine attack and then posing skills first of power place on trigger square for 1.5 times zone attack but own defense and speed drop to zero trigger square is the middle top middle now right off the bat i just want to say that his posing skill is very <laughs> it's not that bad but it's so it's so unusable at some points in the game now a bunch of you in the comment section below and say i know how to do it now comment down below and say if you know how to do it because I'm obviously going to need to because obviously after, I'm saying obviously a lot, but my team builds, I like to use the team in another, I like to use that team in the next video. Now, the man is just, he hits so hard, there's two ways to do the team. The, the, there really is two ways to do the team, guys. You simply put a bunch of speed figures on and see if you can outspeed the person and let Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta just do work. Or, actually, there's three ways. Don't put him in his trigger square and just treat him as just a regular figure with no triggers, no posing skill. And he has 7,640 attacks. So basically, he's a floater. So I'm going to show you how to use him as a floater and just basically annihilate people left and right. But you got to worry about the fact that he only has 950 defense. So you got to hide him. Hide him if you're not using him in his trigger square. Hide him. So I'm going to use him in a more of a defensive setup because I love using defensive teams. Now, obviously, the Piccolo is coming to play. And then him. Boom. First of all, place on a trigger score for plus 350 to defense repeatable and plus 5,000 to your master's defense stacks during that turn. Only I have a one skills on him, so it doesn't really matter. Special beam cannon is his ultimate attack. And this is the defensive version with 2,240 defense, guys. So he's going to be tanking a lot better. So bottom, uh, top middle bottom middle and just hide behind the freaking piccolo give piccolo the ball like in basketball give piccolo ball and get the get the <laughs> out the way now here's the deal he's gonna be in the back and he's gonna have 7640 attack which is very 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 good i can't say that enough it's stupid good like that amount of attack is stupid how much does anybody come close to the, i know people come close to this He's the top person, and he's at level 99, so he's gonna get. He's gonna be above him. He's not 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 gonna be above him. He's gonna get above him simply due to the fact that he gets up plus 1500. But I actually have him at level 32. I want to get him to level 60. I'm gonna actually see real quick. Now this isn't a part of the video, but this is just Mugs being curious now. How much attack will you get? Nah, see, I'm waiting to get him. I want to get him to level 99. If anything, now I will be starting a new series very soon where I try to get, I'm going to get figures to level 99 and try them out. So start commenting down below what figures you want me to get level 99. I'm going to show you my box real quick so you understand what this is going. Comment three figures and I'm going to pick one of your figures out of the three if I do three figures. Now here's the deal. I don't have a lot of, I have a decent amount of figures level 99, but I don't have a lot. Like I don't have an insane amount like some of you guys who have all level 99 figures, 10 out of 10. That, like that's insane. But he's level 99, 99, 99, 99. 99 for sure yeah 99 um and then you get into the page where i have a lot of 99s 99 99 99 60 whoa you're sick 99 99 and then 99 and then vegeta's 99 as well you're 99 i need to get him up because he's not gonna have as much defense as him but he does have a lot more attack so you can treat him as a floater as well or just put him in there get him attacked once you don't gotta put a once he goes on him and you can smack people down Basically what I would do with that rosé. Now, um, the Vegeta. Boom, boom. Perfect. You could put a damage mitigator like you could put a Vados, which I might actually do that. A Vados. Boom. Now, I need to put the skills. Once oh, once new figures come out and I start buying TP medals, I'm going to start buying the SEC skills where if you go second, simply due to the fact that she becomes a beast because you're going to give her plus 700 defense, 
Plus, you're going to have these skills as well. I think I might keep them. Or I might just put the plus 20% um, to damage output attack. And then she's just going to be one-shotting people as well. Now, put her top right. Place her on trigger score for minus 30% attack to all opponents on the field. Stacks during that turn only. And then you have the Piccolo who can go top middle. Bottom middle or bottom right considering you're going to be hiding with the Vados or the Piccolo. Probably would recommend using the... I'd recommend using the Piccolo because simply due to the fact that he has more HP and now there's a lot of gross figures out there like him with plus 20% and then, oh, I have an idea. Who did I put that on recently? Um, oh, I know who I'm putting it on. Just wait. For, give me a second, guys. Your boy's doing something. Nope, didn't want to do that. Equip skills. Nah, that's what I wanted to do. Now we're cooking with gas, my mans. Now we're cooking with gas, everybody. <sighs> Alright, so he's going to be hitting pretty stupidly hard, cause, unless they damage and mitigate as well. But right here is a pretty stupid team. Top middle, top right, bottom middle, or bottom right. And he's basically going to be taking no damage because he's going to be hiding from the pickle. The pickle is going to be getting the damage and mitigation from the, well, the attack and the mitigation the, the opponents are going to be getting. And then he's going to be able to tank very well from the Vados. Now another figure is, you could throw another speed figure in there as well. Just in case you want to just protect yourself from 01 skills. I'm going to throw a future going on there simply due to the fact that. He's just a fun, he's just a dope figure, and he's one of the best figures in the game. Now, I know I'm saying this nonchalantly, he's a dope figure. He is a dope figure. Simple as that. Now, I'm probably going to be putting, once I pull more of him, I don't know why I spread out his stats, all of my five dupes left into his speed, because there's been a matter of times where it's a matter of tens, like a tenth, like 6,560, or something similar to that, where it's just like, or a matter of hundreds, and it's just so close where you need that extra 100. The dupes really do matter in this situation, guys. Now, you could play... I could pick a team where it's all level 1s, which I might do a team like that as well, but... He's just a beast. Play turn trigger score for plus 500 to own attack. Plus 350 to defense repeatable. And plus 1,000 to own attack. And plus 350 to defense. And 500 attack while I'm out of breath. Attack to all allies on the field when an ally is defeated. Top left and top right are his trigger squares. He's a beast. You could honestly do... Yeah, you could honestly switch it up here and do top bottom left, top right, and then put another figure up um, in front of the the um, the Gohan. Now you could put him in front of the Gohan, and you're gonna have he's gonna have 950 defense, but you're lowering their attack by 30 percent, so they're gonna be. I don't know how hard they're gonna hit. This is an unknown thing for me. Now. You could very well put, instead of him... Actually, I'm going to throw a Whis on and see how well that would work. Now, there, his defense is zeroed out. These are facts. His defense is zeroed out. But, but guys, due to the fact that he's going to have the damage and mitigation from the Whis and the damage and mitigation from the Vados. Now, he lowers place on trigger square for minus 30% of the damage taken by all owls on the field. Stacks are not turn only top left is a trigger square. Ultimate attack, Symphonic Destruction, One-Handed Kamameha, Requiem of Destruction... The pickle is special beam cannon, and then the his, his is final shine attack. I'm gonna actually take the weasel because I don't know why I did that. But top right, actually you could go top right, top right for him. Top, no, yeah I wouldn't do that. Now another figure is scratch that guys. I'm scratching that plan very well because that would just be stupid. Now you could put a Bardock on to raise the attack of this Vegeta and just keep building and building and building and building his attack. But instead. Build some sort of have another hard hitter with a lot of HP because that's what a Va that's what Vados really excels at when it comes to the team and the game is um, lower attack and then that means that your higher HP figures that aren't going to get as much attack out like this Godku for example will hit super hard. I'm actually going to throw him on simply due to the fact that he just what, plus plays on Street Square for plus 700 to own attack. Plus 160 attack to all allies, and plus 5% to own damage out repeatable. Bottom left, top middle is the trigger squares. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mugs. You say all these skills all the time for every team build. These are just simply due to the fact that I'm getting new subscribers, and new players are coming to the game every day. Oh, you have the plus 20. I'll take it. He hits stupid hard. I'll take it. But new players are coming to the game every day, and it's just something new, and I like to just keep it where it's consistent, and I can just do... 
a video and the videos are consistent, 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 because that's all what it matters. Now, super coming out his trigger square. Now you could put him bottom left. You could put him top left, right? Actually, no, you could put him bottom left, him top middle, her top right, and it just becomes an absolute domination because he's getting plus 700 to attack every single turn. Now, that is not if. if they, Because they're going to focus on the Pickle or the Vados eventually. They're going to see him, and they're going to be like, I need to take that figure out. That's what I do all the time. People bait me. I end up losing. But, like, when you do saddest, when you do, like, do take them out. I keep saying do, do. Ha, 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 ha. But... The, um, uh, wow, I'm just, I'm just something, aren't I, guys? Um, the, the Goku could go bottom right, top right, bottom middle. Now, he basically is the same thing as the Vegeta. He's being a floater on this team. Now, if you really wanted to get just stupid, stupid speed in there, him top middle, bottom left, and that is almost... Oh, that's 8,000 speed right there. That's 10,000 speed if you do not put him in a trigger square. So you could put him top middle, him top left, him bottom left, and then him top left. No, top left. I can't talk. Top left, bottom left, top middle. And he's going to get 160 every turn from the God Q. He's going to be getting 160 from the God Q. And now if someone gets taken out, like say the God Q gets taken out for some reason, but the, he manages to survive, which would make no sense. Um, he's going to be giving plus 500 to him and plus 1,000 to himself. So he's going to be getting a, a 1,160 attack buff. He's going to be getting a 660 attack buff, which is going to put him over 8,000 attack, guys. Now, I do I have any more skills I can put on him? I want to put an attack razor, but I don't want to put one that... Yeah, I don't have any attack razors, really. I need to buy the SEC skill attack razor, where if you go second, he gets plus 1,000 attack. Because he's going to have 8,000 some attack, which is... Like, that is stupid. How much? How many TP models do I have? I have two. Uh. So, guys, basically, here is the team I, I'm going to be running tomorrow because this team is probably... I like running slower teams, and I don't... Because running fast teams is so nerve-wracking because it's a matter, like, if you run into another speed team, like right here, my fastest team almost. Now, I could change him and put a... Put him and put there. Now, that's going to be 4,000 speed. Um... 6,000 speed right there, and then he's going to be gaining, that's like 14,000 speed. The cell's going to be gaining 500 every turn. He only gains 1,000. Or you could put another cell on the field, and you can go top right, bottom left, bottom right, and then that's just a simple line, and that is 11,000 speed right there, simply due to the fact that that's just gross, and then 15,000 speed, 15,000 speed and rising because he does get that 350. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a video on another team when this is the team I need to use, guys. What am I doing? Comment down below. Mug the scrub. But that is going to do it for the video, basically, guys. This team is going to be the team I'm using tomorrow. It's a very defensive team, and it's basically counting on the Vegeta and the Goku in different forms bodying other figures because you really need to damage and mitigate with the Vado. So top right, bot, uh, top middle, Bottom middle or top right, or bottom right and bottom middle, or top middle, top right, bottom middle, or bottom right, and it becomes a very be very defensive team. Or, guys, hear me out. You could put Vados top right, top middle, and top left, and risk it, and hopefully you survive. And if you do survive the attack, no way, shape, or form are the opponents surviving unless they have, like, another Vados and a Whis on the field. But that is going to do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for hitting. Thank you all of you for letting me hit 400 subscribers here on YouTube. But my channel is growing every day. I hope to hope to catch hope to catch up with some of these other YouTubers out here in subscriber count because I'm working very hard out here, guys. But hope to catch you guys in the next video. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do